Hey, howdy everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm checking out a song request from Andrew, aka K-Balls, over in my Discord. Um, so, shout him out there if you like this song, tell him good request. Um, this is Golden Calf by Omega Virus. I know nothing about the band, I know nothing about this song, I don't know what I'm getting into here. Um... Andrew, I think he said, I think this, um, I'm going crazy. I think this is uh, an instrumental song. I think this is from an instrumental album. Uh, and he initially wanted me to listen to this album, that the album that this is from, and then check out uh, a Chevelle song. But then he switched it, and now he's doing this song from this album and a whole Chevelle album, sci-fi crimes. Uh, the only... Well, I'm not going to get into Chevelle right now. I'll talk about that in my video when I check out that album. But I got this song to check out. Golden Calf by Omega Virus. I'm assuming it's instrumental. I think I remember him saying that at one point. But let me get into this. Because I'm intrigued. This album art looks sick. It's like the world splitting in half. And then whatever this is. Like some space station. Like what... What is this? Why is this in space? Anyway. Ooh, it's got a little bit of that that old tone to it. When did this come out? 2015, okay. This is very groovy. Ooh. Ooh, there's that creepy little like, wine in the background. <coughs> like that thing. Is that coming through? Is that getting through my filter? Or mic? Oh! Oh yeah. Very genty. <laughs> it is instrumental. Okay, I was, I was right. I mean, we're like almost half of the song in the lyrics, so. That tone is so sick. This is good. I like this.
Oh, we've switched. That was clean. That was super clean. This goes hard. And then I assume that goes into another track. Nice. Super solid. Um, so this this song lies in that that style of gent that's way more focused on like the rhythmic complexity and the groove and like making it bouncy and like like vibing with like that kind of thing than anything melodic. And I, I really like this style. It's it's been a while since I heard something like this, like in this sort of style. Um but it's it's got it felt like a song that had different sections and it like all the sections really worked together like especially that that switch up into the into the six eight later in the last half of the song that was pretty pretty sick that was probably my favorite part of the song um but it never got boring it never did something and then didn't evolve with it it never stuck with something and then kept going so it's that style of sort of genty prog metal that that keeps it interesting it might have some same ideas but it built on those ideas and it did more with those ideas and it like introduced new instruments or new sounds or like things like that and so it didn't feel like the kind of minimalist prog that i don't really like which is kind of how i felt with some sort of stuff like contortionist uh no maybe not contortionist contortionist isn't really minimalist whatever there there was something else i listened to um that i was i i was thinking of earlier and then i forgot uh but also leprous uh i don't i don't i might not have that video like the highlights video out by the time that this video is out on my youtube uh but i did listen to leprous aphelion on my patreon so go check that out and one of the negatives i had for that album was that it felt like it was kind of stuck and it kept replaying things over and over again, and it didn't really develop anything as much as I would have liked it to. And that's kind of like some of my my like issues. Not really issues because they're not they're not super negative, but they're just they're things that I don't like when I'm listening to some kind of music. And this felt like it could have been that, but it wasn't. And it felt like throughout the whole thing, it kept switching up enough and keeping it interesting. And like having different sections and bringing in new interesting ideas like the 6-8 section that I, I mentioned that I really liked or the little like weird alien noise or like uh, that that little melodic passage. Where was that? I'm trying to find where that was. Is it here that I'm thinking of? Yeah, you had like this lead guitar come in and like play a little play a little solo here. That was really cool. Oh, I think it's here. I think it's here. Yeah, 
Yeah, we had the part that that's like the. Because then most of it was on that E and building off of like this with a rhythmic. There's a lot of focus on that E. That's that's sort of like the center of the janty patterns. And then everything else kind of moves around it and maybe it maybe it jumps around a little bit. Maybe it brings in new sounds. It has that like here. What was it? Like bringing that like that little part, bringing that in, having that more melodic section, bringing in the guitar solo, coming in, changing up some of the harmony in that other section I saw, switching up the rhythm, keeping it really bouncy. I think I think one of the earlier parts came back later when it got bouncy again. I think. I think I'm not sure. Um, that that six eight section. When it, it started getting into this, like that was really cool. That was such a smooth transition of time signature. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, there there's so much intricacy in this song with time signatures and uh and like rhythms and these patterns. I was trying to catch on to some of the rhythms to see if I could figure out what they were. No, I couldn't. I'm not gonna even try. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna attempt to, at least on first listen of a song like this. Uh this feels like kind of I'm getting a little bit of the feeling when I first discovered gent as a as a as a genre. Can I say that? Can I is that is that allowed? I'm gonna get swatted by periphery. Um when I first discovered gent, I guess, which was periphery, I had this sort of feeling where like I heard it and I was kind of overwhelmed with how all of everything came together because the rhythms were insane and I'd never heard anything like that in music before. Uh, this was like early 2010s, I think, that I discovered Periphery. And I, as I was listening to them, I would try to like figure out the patterns and like kind of think about, okay, what, what's the pattern here? It's like it, it, it's like six, then there's like two, it's like and I, I would try to learn those intricate patterns of the song so on repeat listens I could kind of like tap along or along or something like that and that's kind of the feeling I get with this where I'm like ooh like I haven't listened to something that has a lot of this this genty stuff going on I haven't listened to any of, any of this a lot lately so it's interesting to kind of be transported back to that time of first discovering Periphery like a decade ago and not like my the beginnings of my my metal journey because it was like it was like 2012 2013 when I first started listening to more metal music and that's when I started discovering more bands like from from there um but yeah Periphery is one of the first ones that I found and they kind of helped me branch out into some more of these proggy genres but this was really sick overall gave me those vibes that i haven't felt in a while and i am definitely interested in hearing more of this now andrew did say i i can't remember if i mentioned this earlier uh in the first half of the video but he said that um listening to the weeping earth front to back is kind of fatiguing if you're giving it undivided attention and that's why he switched the album and song request to be a Chevelle album and Megavirus song instead of the opposite. So I don't know, maybe maybe some of like maybe the rest of this album is a little bit like kind of the same sort of thing. And maybe that's what he means. Like it's something that on first listen where you're like hard focusing, listening to it, it can be a little bit tiring. But on subsequent listens, after you start to catch on to the rhythms and how the different sections change and all that then it can get more interesting. I definitely know how that is. There's been several albums like that where I'm kind of overwhelmed and a little bit scared and like kind of not liking it on first listen. But then as I hear it more, I kind of get into the feeling of it and it, it feels better for me. So maybe that's kind of what he means by that. Maybe that's what this album would be. But he didn't request this one. He requested a Chevelle album. So I will be listening to that Chevelle album eventually. 
Uh, but yeah, thanks for requesting this song, Andrew. That's going to do it for this video. I really liked this song. If I had to give it a number out of 10, I would give it probably like a 7 or a 7.5, somewhere in there. Pretty solid song. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, thanks everybody for watching the video. Be sure to like the video, leave a comment. Let me know what are some of your favorite groups that sound like this or if there's any other stuff that I should listen to that's kind of recommended like this. I am swamped with requests right now, trying to catch up on things. And also I'm filming this on the Friday, uh, what is it? Friday, March 31st. So I'm filming this on Friday, March 31st, and I am about to go on vacation for a week and I'm leaving tomorrow morning at like 8 a.m. So I'm just pounding out a few videos now and I will be putting these up sporadically over the week that I'm gone. So hopefully it doesn't feel like I'm gone for too long or like there's some extended break with no videos, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on my next one. Bye bye.